world. It's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, guys. We are continuing with Scout Week. I don't have any more. I don't have any more Scout replay, so maybe it's half a Scout Week. I don't know. It's Wednesday. We'll see what happens. Tuesday is a new day, as is Friday. Like I said, though, if you've got a good Scout replay, send it to me, and we will use it on Scout Week. This time we have moved to a different, but also very good Scout map, Malinovka. This time spawned into the south. And we're going to have a, a similar theme to yesterday. We're going to talk about a, a kind of alternate way to use one of the more popular bushes in the game. So remember one of the problems with the popular bushes is they're known, especially at tier 10. As you can see, this is an all tier 10 battle. And they tend to get blind shot. This one in particular, and I have a good idea, you probably know where I'm going to go. There's another opportunity from the north spawn. We'll talk a little bit about that. I've showed it in the past. And then there's two places that are kind of mirror images a little bit over to the east or to the northeast. Talk a little bit about that as well. But I want to show you how to use the magic bush on this map, which is right here in front of me. Right there. And it's going to light up a lot of their guys, especially if they're too close to the water and they don't fade far enough north or northwest. You might actually get some shots. Now the problem is you probably won't have too many snipers who have shots. You can also potentially counter scout their scout which is in his bush right about here or even catch guys moving along who are camping up behind their rocks and bushes up there so it's a good spot I don't think it's as good as the proc bush we were looking at yesterday in terms of being able to counter a push because generally there's no push coming across the open field here on Malinovka. Malinovka is going to require you as a scout to move to several different places more than likely much more than proc and I will do a bit of that as well in this but let's get started and we're going to show you the initial move and some considerations for what to do or not do. All right Chuck has to talk a little bit so we're going to make a straight move we're going to move straight to this bush now one thing you want to do notice that they have an EBR if their EBR goes real deep here and you're futzing around up here in the high ground you might get spotted Okay, especially if he comes just blitzing across. You never know with EBR drivers, so always take into account the EBR driver and be ready to run away or have a plan for how you might want to save yourself. Okay. The, notice there are some also some bushes down low here. We'll get to those in a minute. I'm going to go straight for this, and I'm going to cut a little left because, again, I'm worried maybe about there. What is it? T100 might be trying to get to these bushes. And if I just come blitzing up over here, I'm even closer to where he might be. The concern on this side is, if he's coming around over here, then I'm uncovering myself from these bushes. So this is a bit of a trick. It's not as straightforward as you would think. And then we're going to do this and check that out. I catch their T100. Now, I don't really know what his plan was right there. Notice he was on the high ground, like I just discussed not being on my side, and I catch him. I'm behind the bush, so I see him out there no problem. If he was trying to get to this bush, that was a really bad way to do it. And maybe he aborted, I don't know, because he was looked like he's coming from left to right. So I'm not sure what his plan was. Maybe he was just running the ridge right there, trying to catch out any of our guys hanging out back here. Or dudes who are not being very smart, maybe getting to this little opening right here, etc., etc. But notice how many dudes I lit up. The 268s behind the bush, the Fergetto 65 is moving around. I caught that light tank, the object even moving. Look how close he is to the water. That's what I'm talking about right there. He's really close to that water. I even catch the CS-63. Okay, the problem with this is every one of those guys, they're all tier 10 players, a good number of them, let's just assume all of them, but at least a few are gonna know exactly where the scout is that lit him. They know that I'm in this bush, right? You should too, and you will now. I just catch another 268 out. There's the EBR, so the EBR is raging around. Where is he? Uh-oh. So my concern there is once he gets lit, he kind of knows probably where I am. He might just come blitzing over here and try to proxy light me. So I'm gonna just gonna slide on back. Let's see if any shots come through. Not too worried about the EBR seeing me from that distance. They have terrible view range relatively, and I have great camo. Notice I also see a Progetto 65. He just kept on trucking. He's headed over, headed over to the other side. This position can be compromised by losing the left flank over here pretty quickly and guys filtering through these bushes or through these buildings, so I got to keep an eye on that as well. 
So I'll just back off of this. We'll take another peek. Oh, look at this. We catch the 100 again. Maybe someone can kill him. That would be amazing. And I'm sort of looking at guys who may be wanting to point at me and take blind shots. Shot just came across. The 100 LT is still moving around. I'm just positioning myself. All right, I'm going to get out. That worked out for a while. Let's just bail out of this. I'm not getting... Look at that. See the shots go by? <laughs> just in time. So we'll move forward. Let's grab this bush for a second. So I know the 100 went off that way. A little bit dangerous moving there if you think the 100 is in that mirror image bush over there. So we'll hang out here for a minute. Again, this is not the magic secret move of all time. They might start to think, hey, I haven't hit anything in that bush. Maybe he's in one of these other ones down here. So I'm going to move around a little bit. Object gets a little bit of damage. So I got about a thousand spotting. And this is what I was talking about earlier with the idea that, you know, if it's proc and you're on the 1-2 line, you're, you're probably there for most of the game unless you really need to move around. And that's fine if you got to move around. But it's not like they're really going to push over here that much. Good news for me, though, in this game is they are going to try to push that left flank a bit. And that is bad. Look at that. EBR is coming. I'm going to leave early. I'm going ugly early. He has decided, obviously, to try to, to, try to spit me out of this place. And they, he's got a lot of guns. So I'm not going to be able to hold fast. And he's absolutely going to get me lit. That sucks. He dies, great. Let's see if we can avoid shots. Probably a few are gonna come in here momentarily. There's one, good, he missed. We'll just swing around this way. Now I don't wanna go too deep over here because I don't know where the 100 LT is. I'm pretty sure he hasn't moved up into the bushes over here where my dead FV is, but he may have because I was down low. So always remember your line of sight lines and where you've been. When you consider where the enemy tanks may have gone and whether you may or may not have seen them. I'm just going to swing back around, guys. And this gets interesting here because whilst I was gone, one of their 268s, notice they are platooned. Remember, guys, when guys are, when tanks are platooned, you, you sort of assume they're kind of together. We're just going to come up. Oh, look at that. Found that guy. Found that guy moving around. Very nice. Did not see the LT-100. This guy's crossing. I'm just like, come on, fellas. Give him a little give him a little thump, Mr. Grillet. Grillet's not in a great spot. All right, so watch this guy. There comes the T-100. I'm getting worried here. I'm like, ah, is he, he going to get close enough? Look at that. He knew, right? This guy knew. And he just thumped me for 598 with HE. Known bush, fellas. That's, that's the danger of sitting in this bush. So I avoided it a little bit and he may or may not know that I'm in there. If his shot went through, it might be hard for him to see whether it splashes back here or hits that backdrop. I don't know, but I'm going to assume he kind of knows I'm in here. Oh, he moved. Okay, great. So he's not going to shoot at me again, at least not immediately. I'm right here now thinking that is exactly what I needed. That is exactly both their scouts are up guys. Pay attention to that. Keep track of what their scouts are doing and what the losses are. Oh, okay, they just shot at me again. Very lucky. I got lucky that time. He plain old missed, right? So he hit me once, takes another step. All right, fine, we'll just bail out of this. And now I'm gonna use the fantastic camo of the mana core to sort of just sneak up in here. I can really get pretty close to these guys now that their 100's gone. I'm gonna use these bushes as cover, just kind of sneak up into these bushes here. I do wanna to try to avoid knocking things down. That was a bit of a mistake right there. We'll just creep forward and see if we can't catch one hanging out right there. Bummer. Doesn't look like it. It's a bit dangerous from now, fellas. If they get close enough now, if, if I get out in the open and they have a line of sight, they're going to see me at this range. I catch this dude moving around. So the 110 E3 is now down in the pit. Dangerous situation overall because we're actually in really good shape in general at 4-2. to two. But they've got a good push over here that we've got to deal with. And unfortunately for us, our team is Mongo rushing off the hill. We've had multiple videos of this in the recent past of people just screwing that up wholesale. There are three tanks. They've got a bat chat and a Foch. But we've got a huge issue down here at the cap. I'd love to just have a couple of their guys hold the hill and maybe a few come back this way or at least to the middle and start trying to help us with this over here. But that is not what we got, is it? All right, one of their 268s dies, that's nice. Let's just come around here and see if we can't find one of these dudes, maybe making a peek, potentially. 
And here's the bit of the chess match piece. I want to try it. There we go. All right, so there's a CS. He's down in the low ground. Uh oh, this guy has decided to make a runner, and that was a huge mistake on his part. He thought he might be able to do that without being seen. So we gather up a few more spotting points. The 268 was moving around. I almost shot right there. I'm kind of glad I didn't, though, to be honest. They do have an HMC. And it would be hard for me to get out of this spot. I'd have to turtle up against the side of the wall right there for a little while. And then that might give the, op the Artie an opportunity. 277 has lost his mind. He's just YOLOing in. So we'll back out of this. All right. Found that guy. I was thinking about getting a shot on the 1023, but he's too low. Maybe on the FE. This is pretty funny later on with this guy. It takes a little bit of doing. And now I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's try to finish this guy off. We got to kill him. Never mind. They did it for me. Fantastic. Counter push at the cap. Notice my green markers are all moving towards these guys. We've got them split so we can clean up these two down here. I'm sort of expecting my guys to take care of this. It does take them a little longer than I would like, and they lose some more hit points than I'd like. Unfortunately, the two guys that pushed are kind of in bad shape. Yeah, and we just lost one, so two of them go down. And I'm like, oh crap, now, I'm, now I've am now i split myself between these dudes. Not exactly what I want, but I don't get led by these guys. We use these bushes here and try to find a shot on this guy. And we'll just get some hit points here. No, we'll just miss completely. <laughs> That's great. I can see that the push is still happening down the south, but check out what I just discussed up in the north there, guys. Up in the north, the, they just get destroyed by campers who are hanging out in the forest. There just was no need to move. Look how many minutes we've got left, fellas. I'm not sure what. I can't tell what I... Yeah, that's weird. Damage. There we go. Finally get 426. Nice high roll. They're still messing around with this guy. Like, all right, I'm going to have to come over here. And Never mind. They finally got him. <laughs> but look what's happened. They've evened it up because our guys just kept pushing into the bloody... Ugh. Frust it's frustrating, guys. All right, damage. Nope. Total miss. And I got lit. Uh, I don't know, fellas. Maybe the 140 is close enough. I I don't know. That looked like a pretty dark bush to me. Maybe I wasn't quite 15 away from it. Maybe it wasn't as much camo as I thought. That that one surprised me. Now, the T95-4201, not like we could have used a scout. So he's crying that I wasn't help them helping them push into the forest while we were trying to deal with guys pushing our cap. I'd have loved to have been up there. We had a problem down here. If he did not push like a complete Mongo, I'd have been there pretty soonly with eight minutes left and we'd have ate those guys alive in that book, up in those up in that forest. But they all had to push. Sorry, not sorry, dude, but uh, you made a bad decision. All right. Push on in here and see if we can't find this guy. He's gotta be right here. I'm kinda surprised I haven't found him yet. I'm like, where is this dude? Is he not here anymore? Way closer than I wanna be. The other problem I got going on right now, fellas, is the idea that, wait, please don't see me. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Kind of a similar situation here. He actually sees me. That's bad. That is very bad. Oh, please use that rock. Use the rock. There we go. We're going to put that rock between me and him. Glad the arty wasn't ready. There we go. Someone did shoot at me. Probably the arty, I guess. Or maybe it was the FV taking a stab. The other problem we have potentially with a fast 2-50-51 and object 140 is the idea that they can now be swinging around the other way. Like, we got to kill this FV, man. Somebody kill this dude. Arty, splash him. Do something, fellas. Come on. Oh, not quite. <laughs> finally dies. All right, good. All right, so we've dealt with all that. Oh, my gosh. Where is the T5051? Where's the JPZ? Even he can be pretty far from the Magic Force. He might even be on the hill, depending on where he's gone. He's a TD player, though, so you never know. I mean, at this time of the, the match, sometimes they're on the move. There's a good chance he hasn't gone much of anywhere. We'll find out soonly. I know what the situation is because I've played the game, but we'll just watch it happen here. The grill and the object, I don't know, guys. I, okay, I guess. But I really feel like I need to come up over here and figure out what's going on. Now, there is a, a really interesting situation here I want you to check out. You'll see it here in just a minute. It took me a while to figure it out. In fact, I didn't know until the guy got spotted where he was, but I should have. I should have known, all right? They know they're dealing with a mana core. So I come up over here. 
I got lit. Ah, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. Three second delay, so probably somewhere around here I was lit. Now what could see me? Well, maybe in that bush right there, potentially. Uh, right there on that edge. Looking off, that's where I'd be if I were them. I'd be hanging out right there. So more than likely that's where he is. I don't want to eat a big shot from an HMC, and I don't know where the JPZ is, so I don't want to eat another shot from him, so I'm just going to bail out of that. We'll head on back down here. I should be unlit, potentially. So we'll just head over here. Uh-oh, lit again. Yep, son of a bisquick, he's up in that spot. And I just have to chicane. Thank goodness he didn't try to shoot. Hopefully it was just fleeting shots. I don't know if maybe he was just trying to spot. I'm so glad there wasn't a gun that was ready to take me out. So the RFV is finally moving, and it was actually kind of funny in this game. I didn't really even register that guy was even playing until now. I thought I had a grill, a 140, and the 2RD. I never really looked that closely, and that's bad on me, but there was a near full hit point FV, which he's now getting clobbered. I need to check the hill. All right, 140's down there. That means probably the 5051 is what saw me. Maybe the JPZ, I don't know. So we're going to come up here. I just want to clear this hill. We're starting to have a time crunch, so that's something you got to think about mid to late game when you're running scouts, despite the fact that they're fast like they are. You need to start taking into account the time of the situation here. I'm really hoping to catch somebody out. Uh, okay, nope. So the 140's pushing in. Ooh, found that guy. Well, interesting. He's up here. All right, we'll just take... Yeah, he lights me, which blew my mind, actually. But he's pretty close. Look, he's only about 200 meters. Their 140 dies. That's very good. I know where their JPZ is. He's not going to get very far, at least in the near future. There was nothing else up on the hill. So the 50-51 is more than likely the guy that was spotting me from that little spot. So now I'm going to swing down, see if I can get the FV-215 involved here, and see if I can find where this 50-51 is hanging out. He is spotted, obviously. He's been probably trying to poke up, see what's going on. He's sort of pushing. And then we find this guy. He's right there. Okay, well, great. And he lights the dude on fire. Not good. Doing all kinds of damage. We get nothing back. So we got two basically full hit point guys, the 50-51 and the JPZ. We've pushed him out of that spot, which is okay. And we're really starting to get into a time crunch. Here comes the grill in the 140, though. So we have some firepower coming. The FV has taken the opportunity to move across the low ground, which is very helpful. He takes a big hit. I get a little more spotting. The grill's in position. I'm sort of waiting for the FV to move up a bit. All right, that guy is not high enough in the bushes. In fact, if you look at the marker on the map, he's moved back. This is the bush I'm talking about, fellas, right here. And it's again, it's not the, the most unknown bush of all time, but that's where he was sitting. You can actually use that bush coming from the other way. If you're careful crawling into it, find this guy right here. Like, oh, please don't hit me. Nope, he's not looking at me. That's fine. We'll put a shot on him. Three minutes. Unfortunately, they got our 140, but we have reduced the JPZ to a one shot. There he goes. The grill got him. Now we've just got to push in. Time is an issue, but it's not an emergency. Just remember that. Remember how fast your tank is, how much ground you have to gobble up. Because, depending on your speed, two minutes could be an emergency, but not for us. Shot just went out. I saw that. HMC, you can see the circle on the FV. So the HMC took a shot at that guy, and we see him. I'm just going to let somebody shoot him instead of shoot. There we go. All right, that works. Now let's just push in. Actually, I'm waiting a bit. I'm waiting for the FV to kind of get a little bit closer here. I said, say when, because I wanted the grill reloaded. He may not answer me, but I can, there we go, he's ready. Off we go. So I didn't want to push in immediately after the grill fired, because he's not ready to shoot again. And I only have 800 hit points. So if I pushed immediately and the 50-51 got a couple shots on me, I'm kind of screwed. This is very interesting what happens here though, to be honest, because he almost gets away with it. Not something I had really considered. Oh man, he's making a runner, check it out guys. He doesn't, <laughs> he has decided to go for the draw. Grill didn't see him, why? Because the grill was in the low ground. So he had no line of sight. I've got to cut this guy off. 
take a chance here. But it doesn't matter because the grill still sees him. And he's able to get the last shot. So we ended up with 6,563 damage, 1,185. Sorry, 1,185 damage, 6,563 assist. No kills. And a nice little chess match on that one as well. Turned out to be a relatively close battle at the end. It was very good that we took out their their scouts early. And I just wanted to, on this one in particular, talk about alternate uses of that bush and things to think about because so many of the best bushes in the game are so well known. They just get blind fired a lot. And we've talked about in other videos where you can use the fact that you've been spotted as a kind of de facto spotting mechanism if you understand the places that you can be spotted from. And that's one of those bushes. If you got a lot of guys moving around in this general area early on, say you've spawned into this northwest spot and you start getting guys lit over here, well, you probably have, depending on what's on the other team, some mana core or a scout, somebody in these bushes. Now, that last thing I want to talk about is from this spawn. Hopefully, we get an example of it at some point. But this bush line is accessible from the purple spawn. It is not accessible from the green spawn, at least not easily. You can fairly easily get into this line of bushes by coming immediately out of the spawn, go straight down this way, and carve into these things. Dangers are that they could push across and cause problems if they are being aggressive. Good news is it's quite a few bushes, so it's harder to blind fire and know which one that the guy is in, just as an example. This bush has a similar situation in terms of being able to flex down to this lower one, but it is a little bit more, uh, it has a little bit worse line of sight to it in terms of somebody sitting in that bush and you try to come down around this corner, you might get spotted. All right, there you go. Scout week, Wednesday. Have a great one. Hopefully we have another scout replay. If not, we'll have something for you in any event. That's all I've got. We will see you.